In today's episode, 4 sweet plant-based dessert recipes you can easily make. First up, chocolate strawberry pudding. Chop 1 cup worth of dark chocolate. Now don't skimp on the coconut milk. Be sure you get a good quality one or else it won't have very much cream in it. And just scoop out that amazing cream on top. One cup coconut cream. Saucepan. Coconut cream. And a couple splashes of water from the can. Medium heat. One third cup cane sugar. Continuously stir to combine. The cream is ready when it starts to bubble. Pour. Whisk. Strawberry. Add some fresh strawberry into your pudding. Cool in the fridge for five to six hours. Strawberry Garnish You can now make this dessert in a pinch with absolute confidence. Next up, a comforting dessert that is one of my favorites. Coconut Rice Pudding Saucepan Half cup sushi or jasmine rice. Rinse and drain in cold water to remove some of the excess starch. Now it feels weird to add taro into a rice pudding, but trust me, this is your secret weapon. It literally will melt in the rice pudding. Just watch. You just need a little bit of that taro. Chop the taro into thin slices. Half cup worth of taro, medium high heat, rice, taro, three tablespoons cane sugar, two teaspoons vanilla extract, pinch of salt, one half cups coconut milk, stir, reduce down the coconut milk for 30 to 45 minutes while stirring every five minutes. cups water stir continue to stir and cook down for another 25 to 30 minutes until it reaches your preferred thickness serve your rice pudding hot or keep it in the fridge to serve cold the next day Top your rice pudding with fresh chopped mango. You can now make this flavorful rice pudding with absolute confidence. This easy recipe will definitely help you beat the summer heat. Mango and orange sorbet. Half cup fresh orange juice. Blender. 
orange juice, quarter cup almond milk, three generous cups frozen mango. Place the lid on and use the tamper. Blend on medium high using the tamper, but be careful not to blend too long or the friction will start melting the sorbet. Serve your sorbet right away or store it in the freezer. I mean, just how creamy this is, is absolutely unreal. You can now make this incredibly decadent sorbet with absolute confidence. Last up, this showstopper cake is easy to make and will definitely impress your friends. Vegan matcha cheesecake. Blender. One cup almonds. One cup unsweetened dry coconut. Ten pitted medjool dates. A generous pinch of pink salt. Pulse the blender to get it going, then blend on medium-high. Spring form pen. Use the bottom of the pen to create an outline through parchment paper. Place the bottom and the parchment paper back into the pan. Pour in the crumble. Flatten well with a spoon to form the crust. Place in the freezer for 30 to 45 minutes. Clean blender, three cups cashews. If you have a high power blender, you don't have to pre-soak the cashews. One cup water, one cup maple syrup, half cup melted coconut oil, one teaspoon vanilla extract. Quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. Generous pinch of pink salt. Blend on high until emulsified. Set aside two tablespoons of cake mixture. Pour the cake mixture over the crust. Smooth out the mixture with a spoon. Matcha bowl and sieve. Sift two teaspoons of matcha powder to prevent clumps. Two tablespoons of hot water. Whisk. Pour the matcha into the cake mixture. Whisk. 
Now this is the part you've been waiting for. Place some dots of matcha on top of the cake. Swirl the matcha with a skewer to create an incredible design. Is that not beautiful or what? Place in the freezer for six to eight hours or overnight. Carefully remove the pan. Remove the gloss and parchment paper. that you just need to defrost it about 30 minutes before serving. Or my favorite method is to leave it in the fridge for a few hours before serving. Now you just have to get an incredibly beautiful cake stand. You can now make this incredible cheesecake with absolute confidence. So incredibly simple, and you have this amazing, impressive, and absolutely delicious dessert. Just incredible. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.